Okay, I have got a good video for you guys today. Uh, no surprise, I'm uh, going to be starring K cars, but this time I'm going to be using one of the classics, one of the original K cars, a 1958 Subaru 360. Uh, one of the cars that helped mobilize Japan. I mean, in the post-war period, this is the car that put Japan on wheels. But, it's a really old car, and it's really slow. A regular Subaru 360 from this time only had about 14, 15 horsepower. So obviously that's not going to run with the K cars of today. So, I have revitalized my 360 and put in a host of performance parts that are now going to make it competitive with the K cars in the lightweight K-Cup that I'm about to enter. My 360 has been modded up to 39 horsepower and 42 pound-feet of torque. Now I know that's uh, still less than today's K regulations of about 65 horsepower and unlimited torque, but the 360 has quite an advantage when it comes to weight. It's a very light car, only weighing 385 kilograms, whereas a lot of the K-Cars today weigh seven to 800. So, what I certainly lack in power, I make up for in weight. So, here goes, I'm going to be taking on uh, a Honda Beat, a Daihatsu Copen. just going to move this over to see it better. Uh, yeah, Daihatsu Copen, a Mazda Autozan, a Mitsubishi Minica, Suzuki Servo, Suzuki Alto Works, and Daihatsu Kyore. For some reason, the AI just spazzed out there and rammed my car into the back of that Minica. I don't know what that was about. Oh, servo getting a little close for comfort there. Or really does not like going up hills. Now we are chasing after the Honda Beat for the lead. Quick and easy, three laps of Autumn Ring Mini in the new and improved 1958 Subaru 360. 